Welcome to Whisper Woods Stories. Today we read a story from Library of Shadows by user slash Matkamara. Let's begin. Blood Purification The Grand Inquisitor entered the grand main hall of the Crimson Court, surrounded by a legion of senior inquisitors, all of them wearing their traditional dark red cowls and mantles. The court, that was loud with chatter and discussion before his arrival, quickly became silent. More than 10,000 people had come to watch in person, holding cards and furiously screaming demands. The orchestra in the back of the room played a one-minute version of the hymn Sanguinis, announcing the court was now in session. As soon as the music stopped, everyone went to their respective seats. Sitting on his rustic wooden chair, the Grand Inquisitor opened his legendary, original edition of the Blood Code and stared at it for a few seconds. By the law of Gyroth, I hereby declare this trial has started. Bring on the accused, the Grand Inquisitor ordered, with his grave, intimidating voice. Two Inquisitors brought a visibly weak, pale man completely chained on a small trolley. His eyes were clearly red with rage and his fangs were so long that they came out of his mouth. You have no right to do this, the man screamed. That is for me to decide, Baron, the Grand Inquisitor declared. I am a king. You were a king for three days, and that is the sole reason you were brought here. Your brief reign was a disaster. The first vampire king in the surface. What a joke. I came so close. You failed gloriously. Five hundred killed, a destiny shard lost. Even our scorpion allies were decimated. I still can do it. Just give me another chance. These are not easily given in Caligo, Philippe Sabatier. And it wasn't only your forces that were defeated. You were defeated by mere mortals in personal combat. A blood lord defeated by mortals. Such humiliation is unheard of. You have not only dishonored yourself, Baron. You dishonored all of us. They were equipped with the destiny shards. You assured our king your success. Many resources and lives wasted. At a crucial time, when we needed a success to compensate our repeated losses at the hands of Karavari's heretics. But... Enough, Philippe Savatier, Baron of Anteroi, former king of the Kingdom of Moravium, Blood Lord of Caligo. Is that you? Indeed, Savatier sighed. The drums started sounding, and the room was filled with anticipation. The best part was coming. Baron. You are accused of breaking the Capitolum 16, 120th Ordinance of the Blood Code of Caligo. Are you guilty? No, Grand Inquisitor. I do not have the intention nor will of breaking the Blood Code. But you did. After reading and considering your case, I declare... The Grand Inquisitor was interrupted by Savatier. I am a damned blood lord. I can't be judged ex officio by the Inquisition. I have a right to be judged by the High Court, Philippe shouted. No. Crimes of the Capitulum 16 deny the accused right to be tried by the High Court. You are to be judged solely by King Gyroth. And by his decree, I speak for Gyroth. I sentence you to a purification ritual. Crowds gasped. It had been centuries, maybe millennia, that a vampire had successfully undergone the purification ritual and survived. But again, Savatier's failure had been so grotesque 
only the worst punishment could be considered. The orchestra in the back of the Crimson Coliseum was playing their most epic spectacle musics. If the trial had thousands of attendees, the ritual had hundreds of thousands. Vampires all across Coleco had lost resources, loved ones, and slaves during the failed invasion of the surface by the Baron Sabatier. Even Gyroth, the first vampire, was present in his luxurious bug noir. Everyone applauded when the Grand Inquisitor, imposing as always, entered the grounds of the arena, wearing a ceremonial white mantle and a pointy helm. Behind him, several Inquisitors, also dressed in ritual attire, brought the Baron Savatier, pulling him through the black sand with the chains that were all around his body. The Grand Inquisitor climbed the stairs to a podium that was located in the center of the Colosseum. The orchestra started playing a crimson hymn, and the crowd went silent. The Grand Inquisitor smiled ear to ear. Philippe Savatier, you stand here accused of the worst crime a vampire can commit, proving oneself insultingly unworthy of being a vampire. If you die in the ritual, you will be proven guilty. Your very memory will be forgotten, but if you succeed, you will be glorified. You should be granted a wish and a second chance. The Grand Inquisitor laughed and whispered in the ear of Savatier, But we know you'll fail. Savatier took a deep breath. This was it. He would be purified. Vampires are a careful balance of humanity and monstrosity in a single being. The more a vampire could strengthen his monstrous side without losing entirely his humanity and becoming an irrationally savage, blood-sucking monster, the purest vampire he would be. But only the most vile and cruel of vampires could survive having their humanity completely removed without becoming savages. And only one thing was powerful enough to conduct the purification ritual. I am ready, Savatir said not fully believing his own words. The massive gates opened, and an enormous, 20-meter-tall, eyeless and pale creature entered the arena. Its impossibly large smile and teeth exhibiting a dreadful grin and then slowly opening. The Inquisitors released Savatier from the shackles and pushed him towards the creature that quickly bit the Baron and started masticating him. The population applauded hearing the bones of the vampire breaking, shattering, and twisting inside the creature. But after two or so minutes, the mastication stopped. Everyone was confused. That was way faster than usual for this kind of ritual. The creature's mouth opened, and the failed king climbed out of it, covered in blood and saliva. The Inquisitors kneeled around Savatier, recognizing his success. All of them, except the Grand Inquisitor. This cannot be. I won. Philippe looked at the Grand Inquisitor and grinned. And I know what my wish is. Thank you for listening to Whisperwood Stories. If you enjoyed, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe down below. Do you have a story that you'd like me to read here? Consider commenting or sending it to whisperwoodsubmissions at gmail.com. The story in this video was read with the author's paid permission. Thank you again for listening, and be sure to check out the original Reddit post. Want to support me? Check a link below where you can leave a tip if you wish. And remember, don't let the shadows get too close.